Um, I think it's ridiculous to say there is a similarity. I mean, you've seen the letter yourself, and you know, when they refer to you know them owning the word red um, in the UK, you know, there's so many other brands that use the word red. Um, nobody's going to get confused between a lager or an ale and an energy drink, which are presented in two totally different formats. And um, yeah, I just can't see how anybody would ever think that there was a, a link between Red Bull and Red Well. So uh, yeah, I think it's a bit of a, a, bit of a silly one. Uh, we went to trademark our name and images and logos and everything, and within a few days of that uh, going in, the first letter arrived uh, at the very end of May. And um, well, 10 days after that, we got a second letter saying, you've not responded yet, uh, can, you, can you respond as quickly as possible? So, and if you don't, then we will take all this action against you. So, shock kind of set in first and foremost and fear. And uh, from that, we ultimately had to go and see a solicitor who has been quite a calming influence over it. But now the, the sort of dark cloud that's been hanging over us for the last couple of months is, is, has reappeared again because a deal has to be done before the end of uh, August. And if a deal isn't done then, then Red Bull can start to flex their financial muscle and uh, you know, take us, try and push it the matter through court, and that's quite a costly and lengthy process, which um, you know could ultimately uh, force our hands somewhat, which none of us want to do. Worst case scenario is we fight as hard as we can. If if the, we really want uh, a deal to be struck, we want to negotiate and for there to be a nice, simple outcome to it. Um, as things currently stand, that's not the case. And so the worst case scenario is that we. We have to go to court, we have to fight it, and you know all this growth that we're experiencing and planning for and the extra people we've taken on, we'd have to you know, stop that and we might have to you know, lay off one or two of the new people we took on to deal with the, with the increase in production. And you know, who knows, we, we've not really been down that road yet with the solicitor of the ultimate worst case scenario, which I guess would be having to change the name.